So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the emissive map, and this is going to allow us to control certain parts of our model and allow it to glow. So what I've done is I've modeled a hut model here, and I've textured it uh, with a color a normal map and a specular map. Along with that, I've also made an emissive map. So this emissive map, basically, I've taken it into Photoshop and I've left my windows uh, with their color information, but everything else I've darkened out and made black. So these are the sections of my model which are going to glow. Again, we're going to use this along with a multiplier inside Unreal 4 so we kind of have control over how much glow that we have. So again, all you have to do is, once you've done that, is export out selection and make sure that you choose FBX along with smoothing groups, reference assets content, and make sure you also have triangulate selected. I've already done that, so in Unreal, I'm just going to click on Import, and I'm going to grab my hut mesh. Make sure that you've got Import Materials and Import Textures selected. And again, it will import in all those textures, make a material, and it'll apply it to your model, which we can see here. So, in our material editor, you'll see it's quite similar to the one that we had for our barrel, uh, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to import in our emissive map. I'm just going to drag over the material editor to the side here and I'm just going to click and drag my emissive map and drop it into that viewport. So again if we look at this, um, these are my window sections and they don't have any glow attached to them now, but if I grab my texture sample here and plug it into a emissive color, you'll see that parts of it will actually start to glow. Now, if I hold down M and click here, I'll create a multiply expression. If I hold down 1, I'll grab a constant, uh, which is just a single number. And I can plug this in to A, and I can plug my constant into B. And what we'll see here is if I make my constant value 10 in my multiply, you'll see it's a lot brighter than it is in the texture sample. It's actually 10 times as bright. And if I plug that into my emissive color, you'll see that these parts start to glow. Now, this is probably too much, but I'll save it. And we'll be able to see the effect of that in our editor. So it's quite bright. So what you'd want to do is possibly take that down to maybe three and save that. And you'll see it update there. Another thing that you can do is instead of using a single constant, is if I hold down three, I could drag that into the B value and I can basically change the color of the glow. So if I wanted it really red, I would type in three here and maybe 0.5 in green and 0.5 in blue. So you know you can see that I've kind of got this red glow. I might even put that up to 5 and I'll save that. So now you can see it's glowing red out the windows. And then I can change that to um, green or blue if I wanted to. Um, in the next couple of videos when we're doing lighting, I will show you how to actually create the lighting that it takes into account these emissive values and these will actually output some lights uh, so illuminate areas um, such as the static mesh and the floor in front of it. But for now you can actually just drag in a light. Um, for this part I'll just drag it away from there, uh, choose a color and it'll bring up a picker if I'm doing that. What I'll do is I'll just pick the color in my scene. Use my eyedropper here. Maybe make that a bit red. And then move that towards my static mesh so it looks like that light is actually emitting and illuminating other areas.